Hello friends, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your graphics card showing as a Microsoft Basic Display Adapter within your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. Right. So the first thing you want to do guys to fix this issue if you're currently having it is that you want to go ahead and check for a Windows update. So you want to go to your system settings here by simply going to settings here. And then on the left hand side, you want to go ahead and click on Windows Update on the lower left hand side. Here you want to do a check for updates. It will take a moment to check for those updates. And if your computer should find any updates, you want to go ahead and install those updates. Now, in the meantime, while this is checking for updates, I will definitely go and update my computer as well if I have some updates. So what you want to do, just simply go ahead and check for those updates and update your computer. Now, as you saw there before, my computer just do one quick update, as you can see here, and it's definitely something worth updating. So I just got an update and that's beautiful, right? So the next thing you want to do, guys, after you get the Windows update and everything is installed, go ahead and restart your computer. That's the next thing you want to do. Restart your PC. And after your computer comes back up, try again, see if the issue is resolved. If the issue is not resolved, hey, go ahead and do the next step. No, you want to go ahead and you want to download the driver support, whether you're using for NVIDIA or you need it for AMD or you need it for Intel. You want to go ahead and download those driver support. So, for example, here on the screen, you can see the Intel. All you have to do is simply hit the download button. And within the description of this video, guys, I'll be putting the link to the Intel, the AMD and also the NVIDIA website as well so you can easily check the description of the video and you'll be able to find your driver support there if you need to right now after you do that guys install driver support go ahead and restart your computer and you want to check again now if this does not help the issue guys which i really hope that one of these two i share so far will solve the issue the next thing that you can easily do guys is simply go back to your settings here you can either right click on the windows icon on the taskbar and press the settings here or you can just simply press windows and i and it will open up the settings as well now once you do that click on systems on the upper left hand side here and then you want to scroll all the way down to recovery now under the recovery options go ahead and check to see if you have go back if it's enabled for you you can go ahead and you can go back and restore your system settings there so go ahead and try this guys and i really hope one of these solutions definitely fix the issue for you